I'm Doug Myro. I'm an executive producer at Narcos. Awesome. So thank you so much for being here. We are so excited for season two. Um, is there anything you can tell us about season two in terms of where the direction that everything is headed? Um, I don't want to give too much away, but uh, what you have is a, a slightly, I mean, I, we have our typical two-fold storyline, but what's different is the DEA is taking, a, is taking the gloves off this season and being much more aggressive. And then you have Felix Gardo, um, who escaped with barely last season, but in a spectacular way, uh, trying to hold on to his empire. And so those two forces collide, and, and, and it's great getting to see Felix use every skill, inte his intelligence, his, um, his power to try and stay on top while the DA comes after him and the other cartels come after him, uh, the other parts of his empire sort of coming after him. So he's trying to wrestle and manage everything at once, which is a lot of fun. So we know that everything that happened with Kiki, uh, and so this, you know, we know the season's going to handle the aftermath of that kind of, right? Yeah. And yeah. Absolutely. Well, that's why the DEA is so aggressive, because they're reacting to what happened. Uh, and, in, and the truth is, the DEA really did, was so aggressive after Kiki, and that is the, le the legacy of what he did is, was, was long and difficult for the DEA so that's a big part of why the DEA in this season is you know really aggressive in going after Felix because they know that he's the guy he's the guy that did it and he got away and they don't want him to get away again so how do you the, all, since all this is based on a true story, how do you stay true to that element while telling a compelling narrative? It's a good question. Um, uh, you know, what we try and take the big moves of the truth and the small details of the truth, and then in the middle, weave in some fiction. I think that that ma that that. Um, that mix is a is been our been our sort of recipe, um, and it's the only way that it can still feel stirring and emotional, and the characters are inve you're invested in the characters, but stays true to the events and how they happen. There, we don't we never undo any major events, but w those are our markers that we work from, um, and the texture is a lot of us doing research and reading all we can about this stuff, and then of course the um, archival footage that we integrate also gives the chance for people to understand the truth in a slightly more deep to slightly deeper way but you know and there are some episodes that are so based in fact like this season we have a whole um, a whole episode about the election in Mexico that um, was rigged and it's very true to what happened as you know so it just it depends episode to episode but but that's basically our recipe Thank you so much. Thank I really you. appreciate it. Yeah. It was nice to meet you. Yeah, nice Thank to you.